Joining us now is a leading fertility specialist. Dr. Tom Singer is the director of the egg freezing program at Northwell Health Fertility, and he is a double board certified in OBGYN and reproductive endocrinology. Good to have you with us, Dr. Singer. Thank you for having me. So Michelle Obama opening up, sharing her experiences. She said that she suffered a miscarriage, struggled to get pregnant, and then decided to try IVF, which clearly was Work. successful. How common is IVF in the U.S.? So IVF is very common since uh, 1978 when the first IVF was introduced in London. Um, nowadays, over 25 million women have uh, used the fertility treatment called IVF. Over 5 million babies were born. And in the U.S. alone, over 240,000 women use IVF on an annual basis. Explain what the IVF process is very quickly. So IVF is a process where we extract the eggs from the ovaries with a procedure called an egg retrieval. Right. It takes about uh, two weeks to stimulate the ovaries with daily injections. It's, it's interesting, sorry to interrupt you, that in the book, Michelle Obama commented that uh, her husband, Barack Obama, was not home, so she had to self-administer those uh, hormone injections. But right, you, you stimulate the, the ovaries. Correct, with daily injections for about eight to 10 uh, days, and then come to see the reproductive endocrinologist pretty much on a daily basis. And once the eggs have reached a certain size of the follicles, we do an egg retrieval, which is a very simple procedure that's done in an office base or in an OR. And then we retrieve the eggs, and within two to four hours, we fertilize it with the husband or partner's sperm, create embryos, and then traditionally put it back into the womb three to five days later. And how has IVF technology advanced or changed since uh, Michelle Obama used it, what, 20 years ago? So several things have uh, really uh, changed the success rate. One of the things that uh, really revolutionized the success rate was the implementation of pre-implantation genetic screening. This is a technique that was introduced for the first time in 1993, and it involves taking a biopsy from the embryo at the day five stage and analyzing the embryo before putting it back into the uterus. That reduces the risk of miscarriage because you're putting a single normal embryo. So what would you be screening for using this process? So you screen for the 23 chromosomes. You make sure that there's no risk for chromosomal abnormalities such as Down syndrome. You know that the embryo is a male or a female by testing the chromosome because you know the X and the Y chromosome. And you reduce significantly the risk of miscarriage by at least 50 to 60 percent. So for argument's sake, if you have uh, two embryos and you know the sex of each, you can mm -hmm. determine whether you want to have the female or the male embryo implanted? Correct. You have that information, and if everything else being equal and both embryos are equally uh, good, we can transfer one or the other. What we see is couples that would like to have one or two kids seeking fertility treatment sometimes for the gender purpose alone, and that's not what the American Society of Reproductive Medicine will encourage. But for a second child, most centers will do what we call a family balancing. Okay, interesting. Now, it's interesting that in the book, uh, Michelle Obama said that when she was 35 years old, and I quote, she said she realized that the biological clock is real and that egg production is limited. Uh, this, of course, leads us to the conversation of egg freezing because we're seeing in that fertility study that I mentioned earlier that women are delaying having babies for longer. So how does egg freezing come into this then? So the more um, eggs you retrieved at a younger age, the better chances is to have a healthy child. We as reproductive endocrinologists educate our patient that freezing the eggs at a younger age will lead to a successful pregnancy and reduction in twin gestation because you can take a healthy egg, fertilize one at a time or just few eggs rather than fertilize 10 or 15 eggs in order to achieve that one viable pregnancy or one viable embryo. The the younger the, egg, the eggs are, the healthier they are. And of course, one has to quickly ask, what is the cost <clears throat> involved in all of this? Usually a cycle of egg freezing ranges between $5,000 to $10,000, excluding the medication. Mm. There is a storage fees that involve uh, about $800 to $1,000 a year. And the younger you do it, the more the cost is, of course. And uh, the IVF process? Then? About twelve to $15,000 in most all right. centers in New York. Very informative. Thank you so much, Dr. Thomas Singer. Appreciate you being on the show with us. And that's all Thanks. the time.